Uh, good afternoon, Coach Elliott. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing well. Thank you for asking. Um, Coach, before we get to questions from the media, and again, as a reminder, please press star one on your telephone's keypad. If you have a question for Sean Elliott of Georgia State at this time. Uh, but, Coach, before we get to that, um, can you just give us your thoughts on what your team was able to accomplish this past week, um, which was a open week for your team? Well, I mean, we just continue, <clears throat> excuse me, continue to try to work in and uh, develop our scheme and, and make our team understand the, the whether it's an offensive philosophy or a defensive philosophy, kind of what they're going up against and just learning the game of football. I mean, it's uh, it's still new to a lot of guys. We've got a lot of new faces that are playing uh, making their you know first starts, whether they're true, true freshmen or or um, maybe a redshirt freshman. But we've just continued to try to grow our football team and get them uh, to play to the best of their ability. And, Coach, what have you seen from Coastal Carolina so far this season? Well, I mean, they, they've, uh, you know, offensively, they, they run a lot of belly, belly option. They get uh, the ball on the edge. They run the trap option. A lot of stuff that you got to be very, very assignment oriented with defensively. Uh, you can't play out of gaps, or they'll gain leverage with you on the edge. Uh, you know, they play a lot of guys at quarterback. I don't know if they've settled in on quarterback, but you see a lot of faces back there in that backfield. But they have the ability to put points on the board. Um, you know, it, it, it's certainly something that's uh, that's a very frustrating as a defensive coach to have to go out there and prepare for. But uh, they're very, very well coached. I know Coach uh, Jamie uh, uh, pretty well, and he does a fine job. And you know, just uh, with Coach Matthews on defensively, I mean, there's a lot of twisting and angles, and uh, they've got a lot of stunts and pressures. So uh, they're mixing things up a lot and uh, just trying to get confusion and, and have a little bit of organized chaos out there on the field. And they're solid, solid in their kicking game. I mean, uh, they're very, very solid in the kicking game. So, you know, in all facets of the game, we've got to be prepared and uh, been able to uh, to take the next step. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions are from Derek Asbury with the Post and Courier. Hey, Coach. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, you said a lot of things about uh, the Post, uh, about um, Coastal Carolina there. Um, can you uh, talk about uh, facing them as, I believe, your first opponent in the Sun Belt this year? Uh, you know, how excited you are about opening up conference play? Yeah, well, you know, anytime you go into conference play, it's a ring game. And when I mean a ring game, it, it, it's – it's something very, very important to us. I mean, it gives us an opportunity to go out and compete for a conference championship. And with being our first opponent, it certainly is a, uh, has our attention. You know, I, I think a lot of Coastal Carolina, I've known a lot about them. And, uh, you know, I've, uh, from the, the, the time they first started their football program, I've seen it grow and see it and develop into what it's become now. So with it, them being in the Sun Belt, you know, it, it's certainly uh, that much more important to go out there and focus and trying to get uh, – uh, ahead in that conference category. Uh, that's uh, all I had. I appreciate it. Okay, right, thank great. you. Thank you. Thank you, Derek. And our next questions come from Alan Blondin with the Sun News. Yeah, Coach. Um, when did you learn of the Memphis cancellation and? Uh, I guess has it been frustrating at all to have two off weeks already in the first five weeks of the season? Listen, man, I mean, you just you just do what you're dealt. I mean, we have no control over that. We learned the, the Memphis game a couple of weeks ago, and it's no big deal. You just go out and you practice and you go about your business. You can't uh, let something like this frustrate you. I mean, uh, there's, uh, there's much bigger issues in the world than having a, a game canceled than to be worried about it. We just need to go out and – and prepare like we always uh, have done and uh, continue to move forward and improve our football team. All right, Coach. Thank you. We'll see you this weekend. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. 